what's up Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how to's. If you're looking for ways to be a smart shopper when it comes to collecting Sailor Moon merchandise, and you want to see future reviews of items that are worth it or might not be worth it, definitely subscribe down below. I do new videos every single week. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Today I have three different Proplica reviews for you. I'm packing them all into one nice little packaged video. All of these recently came out in the last couple of years, last two years. I just haven't done reviews on them yet, so I wanted to go ahead and get them out and do a solid review and show you exactly what you can do with each of these products. So the first one that we have here is Sailor Moon Eternal Crisis Moon Compact. This is a one-to-one -one scale Proplica that was made by Bandai, Premium Bandai. You know if it's legit because it has that sticker on the front. This is the packaging for the Crisis Moon Compact. It's very pretty. This is the first Crisis Moon Compact we've gotten, so this isn't the brilliant color edition or anything like that, but it does feature a lot of new art. Very, very pretty. I love the foil print on here. Let's go ahead and open it. So the main components of the Crisis Moon Compact include this little how-to guide, which also describes the Proplica and what it does in the show. It also shows you all the directions in Japanese as well as English. In the packaging, you get two items. This is the Crisis Moon Compact. It's very, very pretty. I'm super excited to turn this on and start playing with it. And then you also get a stand. So I'm gonna set these aside. I will show you the other ones that we are going to check out today. The next one, which you saw underneath the Crisis Moon Compact box is this one. This is the Proplica Moon Kaleidoscope. And that does say Moon Kaleidoscope right down at the bottom. So this one is the Sailor Moon Eternal version. This is very different from the previous Kaleido Moon Scope Proplica that we also got in the past. So if you are looking at purchasing one of these, they look different enough that you might wanna get both, but the older one is pretty hard to find now. So you may want to just look for this one. The packaging for this is very, very pretty. It's obviously a very large Proplica. On the front, you get this really cool doily print in the background. You have a full scale rendition of the Moon Kaleidoscope. And you also have Toei and Bende's Tamashi Nation stickers here to let you know it's a legitimate product. The back of it features the poster from Sailor Moon Eternal. And then we also have some pictures of the Proplica itself. So let's go ahead and unbox this one. So in this one, you also get three components. There's the stand, the Moon Kaleidoscope. I always say Kaleido Moon Scope. Sorry guys, <laughs> that's what I say. That's what I'm used to. And then you also get this quick start guide, which explains everything about the Moon Kaleidoscope. And then you also have the directions in Japanese and English, very similar to the Crisis Moon Compact. This is the stand. You do have to put it together and assemble it when you get it out of the box. It's very easy. It's just three little pieces. And this right here is the Moon Kaleidoscope. You can immediately tell that it looks very different from the previous model. Now, last but not least, we have been getting several of this version of Proplicas in the last couple of years. This is one of the newer ones that they've made. It's called the Cutie Moon Rod Brilliant Color Edition. So it's basically the same as the older Cutie Moon Rod, except this one has different colors to it. So again, we're seeing a repeat Proplica just in different colors, different format, and that's about it. This one actually features a very similar stand to the previous Cutie Moon Rod Proplica, but it's basically the same thing. Again, you have the stickers on the front to let you know it's a legit product, and you have this really pretty rainbow foil on the box itself. These boxes actually make really good background displays. So if you're looking for a way to display this, I would say like put your product right in front of it and display it that way. That's always a really nice touch whenever I see these like beautiful boxes because I want to display them too. They're so pretty. All right, I've got my cutie moon rod unboxed. Again, we have the quick start guide. Same thing again, Japanese and English direction. So I'll go through those and then we have the rod and the stand. Now, one thing I do want to point out with this stand is it's kind of this iridescent color as opposed to the white color of the original Cutie Moon Rod. So it's pretty, it's very pretty, very pearlescent. The Cutie Moon Rod here, you can tell immediately that it does have a different color to it. And it's got this really pretty like pearlized sheen going on at the very top of it. So which one should I start with? 
I think I'll start with the Crisis Moon Compact. So let's go ahead and get that one back out. I'll put this one over to the side. Now there are two ways that you can actually display this on the stand. The first way is just to leave it closed and display it that way where it's kind of laying flat. The second way is to open it and display it on the stand with it open. It does have a little notch on the back side of it to make space for this top piece of the crown on the heart. So it's not going to stick out at all. However, I did want to point out something else. I got this awesome acrylic stand from a company on Instagram that I found called Laser Cat Designs. So they actually made this acrylic stand, which is a little dusty right now. It's dusty in my room to hold the Crisis Moon Compact so that it's standing up and straight forward. I actually prefer this a lot better because you can see it behind me as opposed to when it's laying flat on its original stand. So I'm going to be using this stand and I will link down below to where you can find this stand in case you are interested in getting one for yourself. Yeah, that's so much better, isn't it? It's so much cooler that way. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open this quick start guide and figure out how to use this thing because they're always a little bit complicated but hopefully we can figure it out. So each of these Proplicas uses LR44 batteries, which can be replaced if you unscrew this screw and then put in your new LR44s right below it. However, if you already have your batteries in there, no reason to open this. You can use the on and off button without accessing the batteries. On this one, we have a low volume and a high volume. That's low, that's high. I'll put it on low because I feel like that's just enough volume for my, my audio and my video. Put the cover back on by snapping it into place. Very easy. So some quality and details that I wanted to point out. This is like a really pretty hot pink color, almost red. For the middle gem, it's a little bit of a different color pink. Ooh, when you open it, it makes a noise. That's fun. There is a mirror on the top piece. Say hello to yourself. And then we have this beautiful rainbow art on the interior, and that is just gorgeous. It's very, very pretty. There are two buttons. This is the B button, B as in Bravo. And this is the A button as in Alpha. So to switch between modes, you can have this open to access mode A. or you can have it closed to access mode B. That's B. So I'll start with A. A has one, two, three, four different options. I don't know how long this is, so we're just gonna listen to it and see how long it goes. <laughs> So this is her transformation music with audio, with vocals. Are we done? Okay. This is pretty serious. I feel like this one is called Super Sailor Moon's Lines. Okay. This is probably transformation pattern A without Sailor Moon's lines. Sorry, I'm dancing. <laughs> Oop, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I closed it. <laughs> So I think this one is transformation pattern A with Super Sailor Moon's lines. So you basically have four different audio options with mode A. The thing I was trying to see when I closed that just now is this little hole in the mirror. It's kind of transparent so you can see outside the gemstone in the center on the outer piece of the compact. And I think that's so that this glows through whenever you're using mode B. Let's go to mode B. Okay, this is mode B. There are three Usagi's lines, A, B, and C, and there's the theme song. It's pretty 
pretty. It's so cute. This is probably three. Ooh. Oh, never mind. This is theme song. <laughs> Now, I don't want to get a takedown because of licensed music, so we're going to pause it there. Oh, there's another theme song. So we have two theme songs in there. I thought there was only one. Okay, so then we're back to Usagi giving lines. I think that's everything for this one. So I believe that's everything with the Crisis Moon Compact. This is really cute. I'm so happy to finally have this in my studio and in my collection. This year, we're also getting the Eternal Moon article. It looks a little funny because it's not based on the 1990s, like vintage Sailor Moon anime. It's based off of Sailor Moon Cosmos, the movie. So it looks a little funny. It's kind of round and bubbly. It's weird, but I will be reviewing that one when it comes out as well. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to how about the cutie moon rod? So here's the cutie moon rod. Again, you do have to assemble the stand. This is the pearlescent looking stand as compared to the white one that we've gotten previously with the older cutie moon rod. So let's check out the brilliant color edition cutie moon rod. How pretty. So first things first, in order to access the batteries and turn it on, you press this button on the side and pull off the back casing. Your batteries go under here. It does take three LR44s and then it goes on like that. Put that back on and then you can change the volume with, oh, nope, not that one. Okay, it sounds like there's four different volume levels for the Cutie Moon Rod. It starts pretty high and then goes lower and lower. I'll put it right here. Yeah, I think volume like two is loud enough for my video. Okay, <laughs> let's start with mode one. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there, but let's go ahead and start with mode one. <laughs> so you choose your modes using the little star at the top on the handle itself. The middle button is how you change volume. The bottom one is unused, so that one doesn't do anything. On the back is where you change to activate the sounds by clicking that button. So I choose mode one and then click this back button. So this is Moon Princess Halation with voice. TV version. I can't do this. It's like a baton. How does she do it? I feel like I'm gonna break it if I do that. Okay, so she just destroyed a baddie. All the LEDs light up. That's so cool. Ooh, it's pretty. Next is mode two. You can tell which mode you're on based on the LEDs here. So that's mode two. This is TV version without voice. I like it. Mode three. This one is Moon Princess Halation movie version with voice. It's a low, it's a lower tone. The tone is lower. Oh yeah, that's definitely different. That's fun. Mode four. This is movie version without voice. And then we have five, which is attack sound. Is that all it does? I guess that's all it does. <laughs> if you press and hold the back button, it plays a special voice. I guess that's all she says. Okay, that's everything for the Cutie Moon Rod Brilliant Color Edition. Oh, I wanna show you what it looks like in comparison to the old one. So here's the new one. 
which is this more pearlescent color. And then here's the old one, which is more vibrant. Side by side, they definitely have very different looks to them. I'm not cutting this one on because I don't have batteries in it. I don't store my proplicas with batteries in them to make sure the electronics last longer. The handles are also different colors. So here you can see the difference in colors there. The light pink one is the brilliant color edition. This is the newer model and this is the older model. I also want to notate that this one has more of like a pearlescent coloring to the sphere. This one is just straight up red. It's just straight up a mirrory red color. So very, very different when it comes to like the paint style and the quality of the two spheres. These are super cute. Uh, I am glad that I have both of them because they do look different enough to make them both stand out. With that said, let's go ahead and move over to the moon kaleidoscope. All right, I have my moon kaleidoscope unboxed and ready to go. Let's go ahead and check it out. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how different these two moon kaleidoscopes look side by side. They're almost the same height. The new one is slightly taller than the old one, and they do have a lot of differences to them. So just at the top, we have two different spheres. This one is a transparent pink. This one is a full gold color. This one has a bunch of gold beads around the top of the cylinder. Meanwhile, this one does not have as much detail, the older one. The stands are also completely different. This older stand has more of like, it almost looks like a, like a tarot card. It's got these planetary symbols all the way around the edges. And you also have a print. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a print of Pegasus right there on the main stand. The new one has a bunch of stars on the main stand and there's a bunch of stars on the base as well as the planetary symbols right there. So very, very different stands. Oops, the back came off. <laughs> I gotta put that back on. This is multicolored. It does light up a bunch of different colors with the LEDs on the inside of it. We have a almost pearlescent looking handle as well as the wings and the wings do open and close just like the old one and then we have this clear gem in the center as opposed to a pink gem there's also some beads down at the bottom of the handle the old one which is lighter weight by the way as well this one has the same color wings but the handle is a completely different pink color as opposed to the gold and the pearlescent white. All right, so you'll get put away because I won't be sharing the audio from the old one. I've already done a review of that one with all the audio on a separate video, so you can find that on my channel. But let's go ahead and play with the new one. Oh my God, there's so many modes with this one. Jeez. Okay, so there's six modes and then there's a secret mode which activates four other modes. So there's 10 modes in total. This is gonna take a while. Okay, so first off to open it, press on the sides of the back piece and pull it upwards. There's an on off switch and to access the batteries, you just unscrew this. And again, they are three LR44s. Turn that to on and it starts at purple. Purple's the first mode that you will see. There's two buttons on the back. There's a top button and a bottom button. These two right there. The top button opens the wings. So if you close them, press that and the wings open. The bottom one is how you choose the activations. And this is also a button. In order to access this button, you turn it. So I'll turn that once. And I'm gonna do this on my main camera so you can see this light up. Green, Mamo-chan. Blue, purple. Green something Mamoru. Blue, purple. So we're gonna start with purple. I don't know which mode this is, so we're just gonna kind of guess and guess along the way. Blue, green, blue. It's really pretty. It's kind of hard to see the different colors, so I'll hold it up. So this is background music. If I press the mode button again, it plays Moon Gorgeous Meditation. I believe that's the only thing that it says. Now we have Mamo-chan, background music. Press the mode again to go into voice effects. I believe this one is flashing lights with voice A. Kind of heavy. Okay, in order to access each of our like sentences or phrases, you press the mode button again and again. So I think this one has three voice modes. 
Okay. So it does have three modes. The first one is, it sounds like she's talking to or talking about Mamo-chan. So now we're on the blue mode. Background music three for mode three. So this is voice D, E, and F. like the determination music yeah so it was three modes of voice I have no clue what she's saying by the way back to purple so purple again is background music this one is going to be flashing lights without voice moon gorgeous meditation yeah so this is moon gorgeous meditation without voice okay so we've already heard that so this one is mode five. So this is basically the same as mode two, but without voice. And then mode six is blue again. Background music, click it again for flashing lights without voice. So those are the main modes. And then we have the secret mode where you push and hold the wings, the wing open button to activate secret mode, which is Super Sailor Chibi Moon's voice. Where is it? Maybe I should restart it. Why can't I activate it? I know it works. I was trying to do it earlier. This is weird. I'm trying to activate the Super Sailor Chibi Moon mode to show you how that works. And for some reason it's not working even though I'm doing it correctly based on what I see here. So I'm not really sure why it's not working. So if I turn it on, we'll close the wings. Maybe that'll make it work. I don't know. So according to the directions, it says push and hold wing open button, which is what I'm doing right now to activate the secret mode with Super Sailor Chibi Moon's voice. So that's what I did. And for some reason, it's still on Usagi's voice. So I don't know why it's not working. Maybe I need to be in a certain mode for it to work. If you're interested in how to change the volume, you press this and hold it down. So that's low. It's high, maybe? That one's high. That one's high. That one's high. Okay, that one's low. <laughs> I would like to get into the secret mode so I can show you, but it's not working. I don't know why. So unfortunately, I can't show you the secret mode uh, because I think there's something wrong with this button and how it's wired on the inside of this. Uh, the reason why I think that's the problem is because when I hold this button down, it'll make the wing opening noise, but then it'll keep making the wing opening noise. And it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to, it's supposed to switch over to the secret mode and you're supposed to be able to hear Chibi Moon's voice. But for some reason, it's not doing that, uh, which is very unfortunate because these are really expensive. So I must have a dud or there's obviously something wrong with it. So I'm, I'm probably gonna have to find a replacement, which is very sad. But that's all that I can really show you on the moon kaleidoscope, given that I can't access the secret mode. Uh, hopefully I can get a replacement in and actually show y'all how that works too, but it's basically just four different modes with Sailor Chibi Moon's voice. I have heard it before because I was able to make this work earlier when I wasn't recording, but for some reason now, like it's, it's just not, it's not doing it. So I'm just going to have to get a different one in and probably get rid of this one. Maybe I could just use this one as a prop. All right, so that is all three of the newest proplicas that I have gotten in. Let me know if you have any questions about these. We do have several new ones coming in throughout the next year. So I'm very excited to see those too. And of course I will be reviewing them as well. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment section. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs, Janae.